Welcome to Dell Technologies Connectrix Brocade How-To Series Brocade ISL Trunking Configuration Reference Dell Knowledge Base Article Number 065513 This video was created to demonstrate how to configure ISL trunking on Brocade Switch. Trunking optimizes the use of bandwidth by allowing a group of links to merge into a single logical link, called a trunk group. Trunking can be between two switches known as ISL trunking, ICL trunking, or EXPORT trunking. Between a switch and an access gateway module, or between a switch and a brocade adapter known as FPORT trunking or NPORT trunking. This video presents the following. Supported configurations for trunking. Links within a trunk can be 4, 8, 10, 16, or 32 gigabits per second depending on the brocade platform. The maximum number of ports per trunk is generally 8, but the number of trunks per switch depends on the brocade platform. You can have up to 8 ports in one trunk group to create high-performance ISL trunks between switches, providing up to 128 gigabits per second, based on a 16 gigabits per second port speed. A port group is a group of 8 ports, based on the user port number, such as 0 to 7, 8 to 15, 16 to 23, and up to the number of ports on the switch. The maximum number of port groups is platform-specific. Refer to the hardware reference manual for your switch for information about which ports can be used in the same port group for trunking. In this figure, highlighted ports with the same color belong to the same port group. When to do this? When you want to achieve greater performance with fewer links. Traffic is distributed dynamically and in order over the trunk group. Trunking also improves system reliability by maintaining in-order delivery of data and avoiding I.O. retries if one link within the trunk group fails. Before you begin. License requirements for trunking. Trunking of non-ICL ports requires the trunking license. This license must be installed on each switch that participates in trunking. Trunking of ICL ports does not require a trunking license. Requirements for trunk groups. All of the ports in a trunk group must belong to the same port group. All of the ports in a trunk group must meet the following conditions. They must be running at the same speed. They must be configured for the same distance. They must have the same quality of service and forward error correction state. They must have the same encryption and compression state. Configuring trunk groups. After you install the trunking license, you must reinitialize the ports that are to be used in trunk groups so that they recognize that trunking is enabled. This procedure needs to be performed only once and is required for all types of trunking. To reinitialize the ports, you can either disable and then re-enable the switch or disable and then re-enable the affected ports. Run switch show command. Two ISL links are connected to switch ports 0 and 1. Run ISL show. Now, run trunk show. You can see that no trunking links are configured, although ports 0 and 1 belong to same port group. Run port CFG show command. Trunk port is disabled on ports 0 and 1. Check the licenses added on the switch. Trunking license must be installed on each switch that participates in trunking. Trunking is automatically enabled when you install the trunking license. You need to use this procedure only if trunking has been subsequently disabled on a port or switch. Enabling trunking disables and re-enables the affected ports. As a result, traffic through these ports may be temporarily disrupted. To enable trunking, enter the command, port CFG trunk port, port number 0, and mode 1. Mode 1 enables trunking. Run the same command on port 1.
Now, check port CFG show. Trunk port is enabled on ports 0 and 1. Check trunk show to confirm that trunking links are created. Run switch show command. You can see that ports 0 and 1 form a single trunk, with port 0 as trunk master. Important notes. Disabling trunking. Port CFG trunk port command to disable trunking on a port. Mode 0 disables trunking. Switch CFG trunk command to disable trunking on all ports on the switch. Trunks operate best when the cable length of each trunk link is roughly equal to the length of the others in the trunk. For optimal performance, no more than 30 meters difference is recommended. Trunks are compatible with both short wavelength and long wavelength fiber optic cables and transceivers. Trunking is performed according to the quality of service configuration on the master and the slave ports. That is, in a given trunk group, if there are some ports with QoS enabled and some with QoS disabled, they form two different trunks, one with QoS enabled and the other with QoS disabled. Trunk Group's Requirements There must be a direct connection between participating switches. Trunking cannot be done if ports are in ISL or ready mode. You can disable this mode by using the port CFG ISL mode command. Trunking is supported only on FC ports. Virtual FC ports, VE ports, or VEX ports do not support trunking. Refer to the following for more information. Dell Knowledge Base Article Numbers 065-513 Brocade Fabric OS Command Reference Guide and the Brocade Fabric OS Administrator's Guide. Thank you for watching.